Welcome! This video will guide you through how to create a book citation using MLA 8. What is MLA? MLA stands for Modern Language Association, a professional organization of writers, academics, and professors who, among other things, create the rules for MLA style formatting. You can use the MLA guidelines to create consistent citations. Learning how to create citations in MLA will help you have better organized papers, make your papers easier for your grader to read, and help you avoid plagiarism. You will get better grades by learning MLA style formatting. In creating a citation, there are nine core elements to MLA 8. These are author, title of source, title of container, contributors, version, number, publisher, publication date, and finally location. This seems like a lot, but you don't always have to include all of these aspects for every source you cite. In citing a source, you start with the author. This is the person or organization responsible for creating the work. Start with the author's last name first, then their first name and middle initial if they have one. If the source has two authors, include them in the order in which they are presented in the work. Note that the second author's name starts with his first name, then his last. If a source has three or more authors, list the first author and follow it with a comma and et al. This means and others. If the person or group responsible for creating the work are something other than an author, for example an editor or translator, include their name with a label that describes their role. Now include the title of the book. If there is a subtitle, include it after the main title. If the source is self-contained, it will be italicized. If the source is part of a larger work, like poems, essays, chapters in the books, then the title will be in quotation marks. Next is the title of the container. If you are citing an entire book, you don't need this aspect. However, if your source is part of a larger whole, like a book that is a collection of stories, poems, or essays, you will need to include the title of the container. Titles of containers are italicized. Contributors are another aspect that you will only include in certain cases. Besides the author, there may be other people who contributed to a work. Common ones include edited by, illustrated by, and translated by. Names of contributors are in order of first name, then last name. You will also only include the version of a book in certain situations. If there are other versions of your source, include which version you are using. This is common for textbooks and other books that get updated editions every few years. If the source is part of a numbered sequence, like journal articles, volumes of books, comic books, television episodes, include the sequence number. For books, this will often be volume numbers or edition numbers. Again. You will not always need to include this, it's really more common for things like encyclopedias or textbooks. The publisher is the organization primarily responsible for producing the source or making it available for the public. Look at the title page for the publisher. If not listed, look at the copyright page. Next you have the publication date. If there is more than one publication date, cite the one that is most relevant to your source. For books, this means the most recent date published. If you are citing an article, poem, essay, etc., then include the page range it is located on. If you are citing an ebook, you will need to include the location. Include the URL, aka the web link, at the end of the citation. If you aren't citing an ebook, you won't need to include this aspect. To review, 
begin a citation with the author's name. If you're citing a whole book, italicize the title of the book. If you're citing a chapter, poem, or essay from a book, put the title of the chapter, poem, or essay in quotation marks. Then put the title of the book in italics. You may need to include another contributor, like an editor or translator, the version of the book you're using, or the volume number of the book. These three aspects don't always apply to every book. Include the publisher of the book. Include the date the book was published. If there is more than one date, use the most recent one. For ebooks, include the URL, aka the web link. 